Lazare Carnot was born on May 13, 1753, to two loving parents, Claude Carnot and Magdalene Pothier, in Burgundy, France, a city which, contrary to popular belief, is not actually named after the famed lead of the Anchorman movie series. Carnot's family was of the upper middle class and well respected, and Carnot's father, Claude, was an influential figure in pre revolutionary France. The elder Carnot used his connections with the Duc de Mont to secure Lazare's enrollment in the academically strongest military preparatory school in France, where Lazare excelled. Lazare then matriculated to the Mezier School of Engineering, and during his studies he developed a friendship with Benjamin Franklin, who, during Carnot's college years, visited France looking for foreign assistance in the American Revolution. Franklin's individualist views influenced the development of Lazare's own political views. Men come from a strong socioeconomic background, being highly educated, and being influenced by the views of his contemporaries such as Benjamin Franklin. Lazare was on the side of the revolution in France, as he voted in favor of the king's death during the onset of the revolution and tolerated the radical Jacobins to an extent, as he did not support all of their ideas and was more politically conservative overall. Being elected to the Committee of War, the Committee of General Defense, and the Committee of Public Safety, Lazare was in a position to greatly benefit the revolutionary cause. He utilized his military education and mathematical and engineering skills to transform the revolutionary army, introducing new drafts that greatly increased the size of the French army and utilizing the mass of his army with innovative strategy, abandoning the ancient technique of fighting in organized lines and adopting a more modern military strategy that kept the French revolutionary army afloat during the French revolutionary wars. His military success was so important and influential that it garnered him the nickname Organizer of Victory. Politically, Lazare was an effective advocate for what he believed in, courageously fighting for the cause of the revolution and against tyranny in the form of the king, the Jacobins, and later Napoleon. He spoke out vigorously against the increasingly egalitarian views of Simon Robespierre and the Jacobins and later against allowing Napoleon to take control of France. And Carnot was even forced to leave France because of his outspoken support of his Republican ideals. Lazare Carnot was arguably the most influential military figure during the French Revolution, as his promotion of conscription and use of modern military tactics led to French victory in the Revolutionary Wars. And he courageously spoke out against tyranny to such an extent that it even endangered his own life. Carnot was an excellent example of an educated man using his gifts to benefit his people and advocate for what he thought was right during an important time in his country's history.